Hey, my name's Chris. I love taking pictures, so I was pretty excited the first time I heard about the Lytro camera. And now that I got my hands on one, I want to introduce you to an entirely new way to take and experience pictures. The Lytro camera can capture the entire light field instantly, which means you can refocus your pictures after you take them. And one of the best things about this is you can take advantage of all the depth in a scene and take what we call living pictures. Pictures you can really interact with. Hey guys. Hey. Okay, here's a good tip. I'm gonna take a picture of my friend Katie. So I'm gonna zoom out until the zoom slider is all the way to the left. And then I'm gonna move in super close. And I can tell I'm close enough because the flower is starting to get visibly out of focus in the foreground. And this amount of blur is actually a good thing. So when I go back and refocus it, it's gonna look really cool when I share it. Right, let's try this. Perfect. So I can refocus on the flower, on Katie, or even the Golden Gate Bridge in the background. Nice. Okay, so my second tip is on shooting portraits. Now, if you're a little further away, zoom in, moving the zoom slider to the right. And I'm gonna get Nicole's face in about a quarter of the frame. And to get the most interesting living picture, try to frame up multiple things in the shot. <laughs> Perfect. Now that's a living picture. Nice face, Steve. Since it turns on instantly and there's no need to focus, the Lytro camera is great for taking quick snapshots. I mean, I pretty much take mine everywhere I go. Make sure to check them out on your computer. And of course, share them with your friends. That's pretty much the basics. Now, if you want to learn more advanced features, check out our video on creative mode. Happy shooting.